Welcome fellow model riveters. This is a little scenery clinic. How to try out. I don't know. And what I have here is some track. And I am going to try a product. For making a river crossing. I've been thinking about this for a while. What's the best best method? Easiest method? That's I'm, that's to me the best method, the easiest one. So I'm always looking for something that's quick, easy, painless, what have you. So this product here is it's not sticking. It's not sticking. That's what it is. I probably should have roughed up the foam. I'm a little bit of a rush right now, doing other things. So I want to make a grade crossing here. I'm going to pretend there's a road being built. And this product right here is something I haven't... I used to use it occasionally for scenery work. It's lightweight spackling compound. Can I get it in the frame? Right there. Fast and furious. No, fast and final. Lightweight spackling. So it's really, really light. This thing weighs eight fluid ounces. Can you see how big the container is? smooth enough for what was it? I'm going to try some water. So here we go. We're going to try water and a foam brush. I put a cork road bed underneath and I wanted to see what happens trying to make an approach that's not too steep and that's pretty steep. I was just I'm trying to save not use too much of this stuff. While it seems to be easy to work with and it's nice and lightweight, it's not cheap. Okay. Not bad. What do you think? Well, it's been a few days, and obviously it's dried, and I'm not that pleased with how it came out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the cracks. So we have some cracks to fill. I'm going to sand it down lightly.
Okay, putty knife. This time to help with the drying speed, I'm not going to wet it down and smooth it out a lot. I'm going to leave it just as it is. And hopefully it'll dry faster. The Sharpie marking pen I want to try out, I want to try this here first rather than on the layout, is right there. Sharpie paint pen. Well, it's 24 hours later, and it's hardened. I don't know about the sculptor mold. It's very soft feeling. But the lightweight spackling is dry. And I have a sanding block here. Let's sand it down. What's going to happen when I pull up the tape? Is it going to rip? Oh, the tape's ripping. Okay. I think what I'll do on this side is cut through the spackling. And I don't think that. I don't think the sculptor mold is going to sand. Not today. Okay. Let me dust this off. Not too, too bad. Now, what about our little piece of wood in there for the flanges? What's going to happen when I take that out? Anybody want to bet? What's going to happen? What's your money say? I think when I pull this up, it's going to... Yeah, it's breaking. Huh. That's not what I wanted. I think what might have been a better idea was to just you would be to just use the exacto blade and gouge out a flange way. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. All right. I just wonder if this stuff is too soft and if Hydrocal might be a better option. I think that
I think that we got enough space here in the flange ways. So that'll work. Okay. We've now gone from an abundance of cold to plenty of warmth. And too much light inside. I have some black and some gray paint. What I'm going to do is mix the gray and black together and hopefully get something that I think looks like tar. I think I should have gone the other way. I think I should have added black to the gray. What do you think? I'm looking at the other crossing and I'm saying that's really a lot darker than I would like. I would like it to look more like that. Now notice when I put that on, because the first coat isn't dry yet, it's streaking through. That's cool. Okay, the paint is dry now. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, here goes. Now I'll make a stop line. Maybe right about there. And right about there. I have to say that it makes a good surface, not a good surface. Sharpies, I really like the fact that it's it's kind of faded a little bit. It's cool. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions or comments, please speak up. Till next time. Bye.